Hello everyone, thank you for joining in for the online webinar on IDA. I think as a base, I would request all of you to put your phones on mute first so that it uh, only the speaker is actually seen. Uh, so how we're going to go ahead with this seminar webinar is basically we'll have a first introduction to IDA by Gita Balakrishnan followed by um, a few a sneak peek into the world of the winners by Nitin Rishabh and Prithvi Rajay. Um, so over to you, Gita. Thanks, Sonam. Welcome to all of you. Uh, I apologize for my voice and it's only going to get worse. So I'm glad we are having this before it gets really tired. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, uh, Asia Young Designer Award is one of the many events that Ethos has on its bouquet. As many of you already know, you probably do take part in our other events as well. Uh, to me, I see Asia Young Designer Award uh, more than a contest as an opportunity. It's an opportunity for all those involved and uh, for the promoters who are Nippon Pains. It's an opportunity to nurture talent and build a relationship with those uh, who are going to be really spearheading uh, the fraternity and community in the field of construction in a few years to come. So they're building a relationship with them. Uh, for Team Ethos, it's an opportunity to bring in newer members into our fold and extend our engagement with those that are already, uh, uh, you know, part of our network. Uh, well, you may say that this is true of every contest and what is special about IDA. Uh, IDA is the only contest that I'm aware of that we find an India winner first and then take them to an international platform. Uh, there are other international competitions where you have, uh, uh, where you have, uh, uh, you know, it's at an international level where everybody is taking part and a winner is found. But I don't know if there is a format where, you know, national winners are found and then they are taken to a platform where different, it's like transfers, you have four regional winners and then you take them to a, a national finals. It's like that there are different country winners who are brought to a platform where they are uh, uh, competing together for the International Award or the Asia Award. Um, so for us at Ethos and I'm sure for the, uh, Nippon, uh, the team Nippon from India at least, we'd certainly like to see this award coming to India. And that's one of the uh, uh, serious objectives to hold webinars like this where you're going to speak to the winners where they missed out, they were fantastic, but they missed out for different reasons. So they're going to kind of tell you how to make it to the India level at least first, maybe put your best foot forward. And uh, uh, and then of course, you will be coached and mentored for the international level. We've already made ripples, we made our presence felt at the Asia level with Prithvi and Nitin and Risha for sure. And uh, let's hope we bring it back this time. Uh, for you students, uh, and uh, some of you may have just graduated as well, so you are uh, professionals, uh, it's an opportunity to delve into your repertoire of skills, of uh, uh, talent, and put your absolute best forward. Uh, I have visited some of your colleges and I have said that you could use something that you've already created. That's something that I'm you know, kind of putting forward. But rather than submit it as is, it would be great if you actually work on it a little bit more and uh, kind of uh, 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 tailor make it to what is required at this level, the standards that are required at this level. You would see the theme is not very helpful. Uh, it's forward uh, challenging design boundaries. So anybody with a design uh, will say, what do I do with it now? You know, And that's probably what you can discuss with uh, Prithvi, Rishab and Nitin as well and see uh, you don't have to bring forward individual designs, but it'll probably give you an idea on what to do with it. And I think the tagline for me in the IDA competition is uh, changing lives and or uh, you know changing the lives who you're designing for. So if you can rework your design from that perspective on how you're going to bring about that difference, I think uh, uh, that would be the direction that I would take. Um, I think the other opportunity that lies here while of course trying to win this etc etc is there but there can only be one of course 12 uh, a finalists and then one winner in India in architecture, one winner in India in uh, uh, interior design and then only one winner in the Asia level in each of these categories. Uh, 
well, that's just one of the opportunities. I think the other opportunity that lurks here is building relationships and building associations. Now, you might say as a participant, what is the kind of relationship that I could build? Um, you know, it's only for the winners who get to probably interact with uh, uh, the international friends and so on. But I think, firstly, to start with, that's an opportunity that we are trying to create with, with sessions such as this. Through this webinar, you could connect with everybody else who's uh, on this webinar and keep in touch, not just for IDA, but for other reasons as well. Um, there is a closed Facebook, Facebook group that we are creating. Is that right, Sonam? So it is for IDA alone, which will be uh, uh, one week. We'll keep it open for one week longer because some of you may not be able to sign in here. And I think the number of 15 itself is rather heartening for us, although close to 100 have signed up for it. But then, you know, it's expected that some will sign in and some will wait to hear from it. You know, we're going to put this recording up there for others to see. Not just for those who are part of the Facebook group, but I think we'll also extend it since it's IDA and it's an open competition. We'll put it up on our Ethos India group as well uh, for others to kind of have access to it. So, uh, yes, so you can build your relationships beyond IDA at, uh, uh, you know, either the ASH Facebook group or the Ethos Facebook group uh, uh, to keep your, uh, uh, to build your, build your associations. And I think that's one big thing. Uh, I'm sure, for instance, Prithvi, having been a winner at both NDTV and IDA and having recently visited Thailand uh, for the NDTV awards and uh, I think you went to Indonesia for the, uh, uh, I'm sure you're still in touch with your uh, counterparts in yeah. the other countries. Yes, so uh, I think uh, through someone like Prithvi, if any of you want to reach out to some people in other countries, that's another way your, your association or relationship can build up. So I think that's an opportunity that you need to extend beyond just participating in the competition, but trying to make most out of every opportunity. And that's what I mean by uh, I think for me, IDA is an opportunity and it's a different opportunity from the other competitions that we host typically. So I'm glad that uh, the three winners have made time to be with us. And uh, I mean, I, I think their association with Ethos is now beyond uh, these contests. And I think they're here with us for a while. And uh, thank you for being with us. And I'll allow you to take it forward from here to three Nitin and Rishabh in whatever way you're choosing to. I'm around for any questions that I need to answer. Thank you. Okay. So should we start? Like everything is there. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. You're on mute. So if you want to unmute yourself, please. Uh, would you want to share your screen, Prithvi? Yeah, or that's what I'll... Something? Yeah. No, I'll just uh, share my screen. Okay, so uh, Rishwi, Nitin, Rishwi, Nitin, uh, and uh, uh, Rishabh, what we'd also like to hear from you is, of course, about Ida, but a little beyond that, a little bit about yourselves, how these mm -hmm. contests have, uh, how you've used these contests to do other things in life. I know uh, Rishabh was part of the uh, uh, KVDF, right? KV, what's it called? Kurla Varki Design Forum. Kurla Varki Design Forum, yeah. Uh, Nitin has had other opportunities uh, uh, and it need not only be because of IDA, but IDA is certainly kind of uh, helped in some way. It doesn't have to focus on that, but we'd like to hear a bit on all that as well. I'm sure it will help the others. Okay, sure. So, uh, Nitin, you start me. Uh, can you just share the screen? Yeah. No, just introduce yourself first, like then we'll start sharing this thing. Yeah. Okay, so um, thanks for the wonderful presentation, Geeta ma'am. Like it's a kickstart for a very good day. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> so I've been associated with Ethos from, uh, from a long time, from my second year of my college to all the competition. Uh, and to be frank, the best competition which I've done till now is AYDA. <laughs> And uh, right now, I'm an architect, um, currently working in a firm in Bangalore, as well as uh, having a satellite studio in Bangalore as well called Metaspace. And uh, currently working on a couple of projects, the one which, the, which I started with AYDA and uh, right now going into the real ground field, that is the last time AYDA uh, winning entry of mine. 
and um, and a couple of uh, urban uh, ecology uh, photo documentation for Bangalore uh, as well as I'm doing. Uh, I'll be really glad to be a part of this uh, from now on. I think uh, Prithvi can take over from here. Okay, so hi, uh, I'm Prithvi Raj. Uh, I'm okay, so. Uh, I was lucky enough to be a part of AYDA. Okay, frankly speaking, I had no hopes uh, whether I could grab that one or not, because uh, the 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 other participants who were there had really fabulous work, and um, AYDA has spent like an ethos also has spent too much efforts just uh, getting the best people possible for the uh, for the finals, and then I had really didn't hope also like in my dreams that I can uh, crack AYDA. But once I did that, it uh, gave me a sense of confidence. And then, uh, like, I never stopped uh, thinking something positive and uh, uh, something which is non achievable, like that thing, a layer uh, of uh, confusion was not there. So thanks to Ethos and AYDA for giving us such a wonderful platform. Uh, and yeah. So that's for me, uh, Rishab, you can introduce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello, everyone. So I'm Rishab Jain. I have been associated with Ethos since my first year and I've had many competitions. I have lost many and luckily I won some. So I think what important, what is very important is the journey, then the competition. And uh, being in college, you are not, ex uh, you're not exposed to that uh, situations or uh, that uh, globalization which architecture has. So I think this competition really helps a lot. And uh, AYDA was actually when we when you go uh, when you go and uh, hear the work of the people around the globe. So that given that given extra exploration. Or what people want because people really want to hear what do you want to do with the world so I think uh, the journey is more important than the competition so you should just keep trying and doing great thank you Prithvi just yeah. before you continue I wanted to add on what Rishabh said about the exposure that you get uh, yeah. until last year we did not really put out the recordings of what happened in um, uh, either India or in uh, 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 the Asia uh, event. Planets, yeah. Here, that's another thing that I would like to do. So Vidya can make a note. We should put it as part of our next discussion with Nippon that we should put it out there for people to see the way the uh, presentation yeah. in India as well as uh, 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 in this year it's going to be Singapore as uh, that will happen in Singapore. So the next year. And I think uh, uh, the fact that we are in our third year, two years uh, Unfortunately, Prithvi Nitin and Rishabh were. <laughs> <laughs> I would like. I would love to take part again, actually. <laughs> yeah, this year. Yeah, this year is like something special. <laughs> <laughs> you should host competition for all the winners again. Why not? We push for that at least in India. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. So, should I start? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so uh, so the screen is visible, right? And no, it's not yet visible. Not yet visible. No. Is it? Mm, yes, we're there. Now it's visible? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, fine. Hmm, so this is Asia Young Designer Award, uh, the thing. So firstly, I like to talk about the structure. Okay. So basically, uh, once I am done talking, like uh, Nitin and Rishabh can add on to the points if I have missed anything. So Basically, how the structure works is uh, there are preliminary rounds, okay, where you have to submit your work online uh, in the uh, given specific format, and then there happens a shortlisting of projects, okay. Then those projects 
need to be presented in a PPT format for which you will be guided a day prior in a workshop which AYD and Ethos conducts. So which will like uh, help you fine tune your uh, presentations before presenting it on the final platform. Then from that you uh, have a final presentation from which uh, we get the winners for the night. And then you get certain amount of time to work for your presentations for presenting at international level. Where the similar thing happens, the workshop for presentation, where you will be again guided by the stalwarts there, and then you have the final presentation. Okay, so this kind of a structure is very uh, interesting because I think this is only one of the few like uh, fair platforms where uh, you uh, the design projects are not judged on the basis of sheets you produce. Uh, they are judged on the uh, basis of ideas which you generate. So you get a fair chance to present your ideas rather than just uh, getting selected to, through good presentation techniques. So yeah, so Nitin and uh, if you want to add anything. Yeah, so um, uh, just to brush up in terms of the sequencing of the competition which uh, Prithvi just spoke about, uh, you, just need, you all need to understand uh, one thing which is really clearly that uh, the first state of the competition is will be judged without your presence, right? And the second, yeah, so, so to crack the first edge line of the first stage is really, really important in terms of how you make your uh, presentation votes. So that is something which is, which you all have to really concentrate on. So the second stage of the competition will be a one-on-one -on -one presentation where you get a chance to explain your own project, right? The first stage of the competition, you won't, uh, get the chance to explain your project so all of you guys my suggestion to you all is to make the first presentation board which is extremely simple and extremely clear because uh probably there's a two minute thumb rule that jury i mean because of the in, a large number of the influx of entry this time i'm hoping so uh so only like jury will get around two minutes or two and a half minutes to look at your whole sheet so you need to be really smart in putting your, you know, key points in your presentation board and take the things forward. I think uh, Rishabh can thank you. Rishabh can take over from you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I, I, I'm uh, agreeing with uh, Nitin and I think uh, rather than focusing on what things should be and who prefer, try to be yourself and just try to eliminate the thing which are unnecessary so that your presentation speaks a lot and that is what you should convey. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll move. Yeah. 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 So the second thing is app approach. So what specifically I like to tell is, EYDA is an idea based competition. Okay, where only ideas are more important than the quantum of work. So even if you have worked too much, even if you have like n number of drawings and number of details, and even if you have gone to the roots, your job is to just to convey the idea. Okay. So what people have a tendency, like I had the similar thing, like whatever I have worked uh, during my, uh, this thing, I had, I tried and put everything into those four sheets and made a mess out of it. Okay. So I would suggest rather not to do that and just to focus on idea and then present whatever is relevant. Like as uh, these uh, Nitin and Rishabh also said, like you just have few minutes, uh, like the jury has only few minutes to go through your presentation and you have to make a best out of it. Like you have to be so perfect that you get shortlisted uh, at the first glance itself. Then uh, comes the themes. So if you see themes for these competitions are very general. Okay. If you see at, uh, at the themes at the first glance, you might not even relate to the, them because they are asking very general stuff. But, uh, my suggestion is, uh, if you select one topic and then start working and then start relating to the theme, then it slowly, the project starts making sense. Okay. And then you can work accordingly like you should start relating your project what you want to present to the theme okay so another thing the content which goes into the sheets or into the your work should 
be relevant to the context like never forget what the theme is about and never forget what you are trying to say otherwise uh, you'll start with something and end with something else so the start and the end should relate to each other okay and yeah so you so yeah that's all so nitin can take uh, so uh, i just want to add couple of uh, my two more things to what prithvi uh, talked about the approach right so this is one of the very few competition which doesn't give you any you know strict guidelines in terms of the site specific intervention or like trans i mean any transparency i believe there's a site specific right you, i mean they'll tell about the site you have to insert something into the site or something but especially uh, avid is something where you know it's so it it's up to you you can imagine anything so this time uh, the theme is forward right so it it's left to your imagination it's left to your thing that how you can tackle this brief so that is one thing which you all have to you know uh, work on so um, that's one thing which i wanted to add on and uh, and the second thing is uh, even in terms of the approach right uh, there's you, you got you guys got a balance in terms of uh, uh, the simplicity which you are uh, your project in terms of the simplicity as well as the innovation so these i mean especially last when i the last time avd international uh, uh, thing which happened in malaysia the winning entries which we kindly uh, observed was uh, extremely simple but extremely well thought through and to the point so we kind of missed on a couple of things like that so i all i suggest to all of you to work on these two aspect of you know balancing the simplicity of your project the simplicity as well as what is the next uh, the innovation which you are bringing into your project that's all you have to work on in this actually uh, rishab can take over <coughs> rishab are you there yeah hello yeah yeah so i think uh, i i have been focusing on be yourself because i have read a lot of questions asking what do judges prefer or what do people prefer so basically this uh, competition is actually take it as a essay that what do you actually see your future to be hmm. that in like a very organized essay in terms of your architecture in terms so in the same the same theme have different approaches some will go for back or some will go for past some will go for present some will try to solve small problems and some will try to see the world at a very large context so it's all about yourself yeah yeah, yeah. and what i would like it should to be add... your own approach yeah sorry sorry, sorry. yeah okay so what i would like to add is like uh uh it does not matter what the size like as uh, the theme is very general and uh, they haven't specified anything you are free to choose the size and scale of the project like it's uh, it doesn't matter whether the scale of the project is as tiny as like 2 square meter or the scale of the project is as huge as 2 acres so it's irrelevant even the site is uh, may not be uh, on earth it may, might be on other another planet so that's also acceptable so just brainstorm through crazy ideas and just start working on it is what i would suggest then comes the suggestions yeah so as uh, rishab and uh, nitin already said that uh, uh, getting selected at the first round is very very critical so avoid overdoing things in your sheets so that you just convey important things which justifies your ideas into the sheets okay and also while composing the sheets like uh, understand the importance of blank white space behind that balance is very much required the more like uh, the the more balanced the sheet is in terms of your data and the blank white background the more attractive and interesting it will look okay and uh, always remember like your entries will be judged by a third person who will be all together new for what you are trying to explain 
and as nitin uh, said like uh, he'll only spend like few minutes at your sheet so make it as simple as possible as simple vocab use as simple vocabulary as possible more of graphics so that it uh, it uh, stands out immediately and it's easy to read in very short amount of time okay and also structure the composition of your entire work like i would rather say your work should be like a story which ha- which starts with something then it flows in between and then has a strong ending point so the composition like the it's up to you how the way you compose but uh, the composition should be uh, structured in such a way that the idea gets narrated properly to the third person so these are the key things which you should consider while like working on any of the projects for this kind of a competition yeah nitin can take over yeah, yeah. so i i just want to add uh, a couple of points uh, on the la- i mean sorry the last point the structure the composition in a way that it explain your idea in the best possible way it's a very very valid point uh so especially uh, there's a way which i do for all this competition in a way like when you pre- so you have four sheets to present your whole idea right you need to think in terms of a larger perspective so okay so i have this idea i have this project how i can put forward in terms of four sheets right that is really really important so you have to make a homework in terms of okay what should be my first sheet is what should be my second and third of the fourth sheet is i just share my experience in terms of how i usually um, do all this present competition presentations and other things so when you look at the structure the, the skeleton of the presentation the first sheet is extremely important especially the competition like avda where you don't have a general specific site which will be given to you so each project each of your competitors will be different each of your sites will be different each of your projects will be different so the first sheet of your competition i mean the first presentation sheet should explain the complete introduction about your project and what is the i mean about the site context and the whole of a thing right and the second and third sheet is really really critical in terms of your design say for example concept your design presentations and graphics and what are your innovative methods and any other things so your second and third sheet is like the the body of your letter so something which you all have to concentrate it's it's all personal and the last thing is something which i usually tend to do is in terms of the construction innovative uh, the construction ability and as well as sustainability so this is this is something which uh, which helped me a lot because most of my project in my in the previous competition were also in terms of the new construction techniques and other things as well so i would like to add on i would like to give a suggestion on this having to add on a sheet of you know how we can able to construct this in real field i mean at least to your knowledge i know it's a very, in a broader perspective it's a very it's an idea based competition but the last sheet of about the construction ability as well as the sustainability will give the judges a very good impression on the fact that of okay, you, you are thinking beyond the design parameters and you are thinking about the construction uh, ability of your project so that's something which you all have to concentrate on especially um, i was a part of avdf uh, first session 2016 where i still remember prithvi had this uh, little tiny mock ups of his own uh, you know project which he has built mm. so though his project was very simple and very tiny you know that gave him a Uh, is a huge uh, push to his uh, in terms of the jury uh, comments and other things as well so um, i try even in the 2017 i tried something similar like that as well as so you ha- uh, my whole point is like skeleton have the structure of your competition and uh, the presentation board which is extremely clear and extremely simple so jury can identify your site your design and your uh, innovation so these are the three things which you all have to concentrate on i think prithvi can take over here sorry uh, rishabh yeah rishabh yeah so so uh, i want to share my experience at this point because i, I often get lost with producing a lot of renders a lot of graphics and uh, every graphic or every renders or every draw- drawing has a story behind it so since we are one who is making the story so we know what it is so what i often do is i ask my friends that what is this image portraying them so we do have an association with every image so we are like we should put every one of them because they have close to their hearts so i think the process of elimination is equally important and it should be based on what people are actually uh, 
reading from your graphics because that is more so we should often uh, take point in choosing the right graphic is it conveying the meaning which we want to convey or not yeah yeah thank yeah, yeah. Yeah, I totally agree with uh, Rishabh's point. Uh, the thing is, the best uh, uh, way to judge your presentation or something is uh, showing to uh, showing it to a third person, see your sisters or your brothers or any of your family members, and asking them like whether they could understand uh, whatever you are doing. So, uh, you are uh, if they don't understand anything then you should really work on your presentation and try to make it as simple as possible okay so it should be so simple like any person can understand what you are you have put into the sheets and another thing i like to point out whatever we three are talking are based on our personal experiences and our understanding about competition so don't take this in like uh, in a way like the, this is the ideal way to do it like there are n number of ways to crack a competition so we just are sharing our uh, experiences so you can come up with new innovative idea also which can just impress the judges okay so yeah should we go ahead hello yes yes sure yeah okay so yeah the this is the most important uh, like slide uh, why should one participate like uh, as i said it is only one of the very few fair platforms where you get a chance to present your work rather than just getting selected on the basis of your sheets and presentation then um, you get an uh, important like it's an opportunity for you to discuss your work and get val valuable critiques from eminent jury members trust me like uh, as uh, as far as i have seen uh, the juries for different competitions all across india ayda has the best ones okay so it will be very beneficial for you when such eminent jury members give you crits so that you can improve your design in uh, in a better way then uh, you also get a chance to attend a workshop uh, which uh, is basically uh, which is purely based on how to improve your presentation techniques which will surely help everyone in a longer run because uh, the presentations won't stop at competitions once you we graduate and once we are professional we should know the skills to present our work in a better way so that helps really helps in a longer run and it has helped me a lot after 2016 ayda because i uh, the the more uh, number of platforms i participated i presented my work the uh, more finer and finer the presentation had been so it was really really helpful for me and uh, here i'm just thinking aloud since you said this maybe the presentations by the people who are uh, uh, you know on the uh, day before the final uh, presentation the people yeah. who are uh, uh, helping you uh, spruce up your presentation and communication uh, that capsule again should probably be videographed and uh, uh, made available yeah. for even those who haven't made it to the top 12 there may be many who won't make it to the top 12 and this could still help them uh, uh, yeah clean up their presentation so vidya just make a note of that as well Okay. Yeah, and another thing is like uh, it's a really great opportunity to like bag some interesting prizes. This year's prize is like something a workshop in Harvard. Like I just wish like that thing was there during my time. Yeah, so like uh, I would have got that opportunity. And uh, another layer is when you uh, are selected and when you present your country abroad. you get a chance to see the work of students and people there who come from a different culture and background and their way of interpreting ideas in today's uh, timeline is very very like interesting because the thing is you won't get a chance to see such a diverse uh, type of work at one platform so which is really uh, really important for uh, people to have that experience at such a young stage another thing is like you get a chance to make a friends which are like uh, from different countries and which helps 
you a lot in some way or the other in the later part of your life when you want to get some resources from somewhere or get in touch with some people say for instance if you're planning for some master and then you just know that oh i met this guy and he is working there or he has friends there then it helps you building contacts very quickly so that's an additional advantage of this kind of a competition so nitin you can take over yeah so um you know i think avda uh, it's, it's not just about competition right like right now we i mean we did the competition we were associated with ethos and now we have become like a family like even geeta ma'am vidya so on everyone like it's it's a, it's a it's an amazing thing right so so you need to understand what avda offers before competition and post competition to, to me um avda has offered a lot post competition apart from the fact that uh, we won um, apart from the fact that winning post competition is something which which is which really hyped my career a lot in terms of you know um geeta ma'am and uh, vidya and other people also helped me in terms of so you know getting the the saint gobain scholarship so where i got a chance to, i mean i'm getting a chance to build my project uh, into the ground reality right now so there's something which uh, you all have to concentrate on in terms of what avda offers in such a larger platform what it offers beyond the competition and in terms of the connection in terms of the connection with the jury members so it's all really uh, you can it, it's it's really amazing to be frank even the so even uh, i was a, comp- a co competitor with prithvi in 2016 but uh, in 2017 prithvi became my instructor and in 2018 me and prithvi uh, are both are instructor and talking to you guys about the competition it's an, it's an amazing uh, journey to be frank so just don't think about winning the competition or that just think it as a journey and just enjoy it i think you'll really you guys will really do well in terms of that i think uh, rishabh can take over what was very uh, good about avda to me was mentorship so like before uh, once you get into avda you get lot about lot of inputs into your projects which you can develop and that's how uh, the process goes on so you're designing the, you're designing your things doesn't stop there it's a learning when you enter into avda and other than that there are a lot of perks of you get to travel you get to meet people you get to see how people think and there are a lot of good advantages that so that definitely everyone should take part or in this competition because it also give you a vision that what architecture is to you because uh, in colleges we end up doing projects designing some schools or but by doing such competition we see that what is we trying to do to the society from architecture so i think such competitions give us self satisfaction and direction that where architecture we can take to yeah thank you yeah so yeah so avda started in india in 2016 was the first year so for that the theme was be bold be free be you okay so as i said like uh, this theme was also very general and uh, i had no idea whether like what to do about this thing but as i told you like once i started relating that those words and the, that theme theme and understanding the context and relating my content to it then it started becoming much more clearer to me so yeah so yeah so this was my project in 2016 which was a temporary school for street children which uh, is mobile and portable so the additional layer of that being it mobile and portable uh like just uh took me a step ahead i guess uh and that's why like i was close uh to the this thing the to the winning opportunity and uh, yeah another thing i would like to add is like whoever are shortlisted uh have different uh ideas and have the best work possible okay and uh, you have to make sure what are your additional skills or additional things which you have uh, you have to make sure that you show them in your work which will make 
that difference count so and yeah that's what helped me a lot like during my presentation then was the next year for A- AYDA 2017 where uh, the theme was you for tomorrow and yeah nitin can talk about uh, sorry rishab can talk about his project yeah yeah rishab rishab while Adi. going for you for tomorrow i lot uh, hello yeah, yeah. are you there so while going for you for tomorrow uh, hello yeah i'm there so while going for you for tomorrow a lot of queries what is tomorrow is it about flying cars or is it about so it was before solving it as a design problem it was solving me that how do i see tomorrow is then i started analyzing the problems and i came across that there are societies who are not part of today's world so uh, we consider them backward so i think that is tomorrow where we see equality so that's how i developed the project of seeing backward as future so it's really important to uh, think this as a question that how do you see this as a bigger frame and how do you want to solve it through architecture so that the journey was yeah yeah um uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Nitin's project, yeah, Nitin. Yeah. yeah. So, um, as I said, it. I mean, it's your interpretation of your theme. I mean, the theme which AYDA is offering you, right? The, when I looked at you for tomorrow, my mind was um, completely looking at heritage as a part of. Um, I mean, as a part of tomorrow. So, how heritage can transform itself. um for the future so in terms of it's a retrofit it my project was a retrofitting uh, um a development where uh, i tried to look at uh, the technology as a key part of my uh, my design to tweak in uh, to redesign the a dilapidated 200 year old church uh, into a reusable space so it, i tried to uh, balance out between the mixed reality as well as uh, the heritage to come up with something uh, which i never thought about so i think which it kind of improved my own design um, skills and uh, to judge myself or to what extent i can you know beyond uh, push myself beyond that so it's a very good uh, and this uh, this year is the forward forward is such a such a large theme uh, and also it gives a lot of opportunity for you guys to you know tweak in your own design things to this theme so try doing it really smartly and very very simple yeah so yeah this year's theme is forward and like if yeah so if anyone wants to like put a their view point like geeta ma'am if you want to like explain this thing the theme for this year or vidya or sonam anyone Yeah, maybe Vidya, you want to come in and say what you think uh, forward challenging design boundaries is designing. I mean, with every design, you kind of challenge your own boundary. Some boundary is being challenged according to me. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. In fact, we had a few questions about whether it needs to be futuristic in nature, or what kind of projects, or what kind of building typologies are we looking at. But that's the beauty of a theme like uh, that. That's the beauty of a competition like Ida, which has just a very broad theme. wherein you can find multiple interpretations to that for instance even you for tomorrow it, it you could go in different ways and uh, rishab chose to uh, go in a certain way and nitin chose to go in a certain way where heritage is what he looked at in terms of tomorrow uh, which is not the most conventional way of looking at tomorrow so you can look at completely futuristic designs like uh, prithvi was talking about uh, the site not even being on earth and y- or you could look at something that that needs attention today and uh, you can see how you can move forward in terms of design and challenging the rules and norms of of what uh, design stands for today so yeah you can go in any direction there are different ways you can interpret this uh, vast theme of forward you could look at space you could look at time yeah um, you know you can look at various ways of interpreting forward itself are you looking at or it can be a combination of space and time which is uh, 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 
uh, again, again, you know, you're talking about history, mm. and uh, you can go back in time and say you're moving forward. You can do so many things with uh, uh, the theme. Yeah. yeah. Even I would like to add add to this is like even if you select very very simple thing like which you feel or experience in your day to day life. or some uh, understands very simple problems and look at it in a different way and the whole purpose of these competitions is like uh, they want to understand how you used design as a tool like to solve or resolve something so that's very very interesting about these competitions so it, it can be anything like don't uh, uh, like spend your time just to uh, like get convinced whether your project is uh, worth uh like going with this theme or not just start working on it then you everything will get into place from the interior design perspective is another thing uh, i mean nitin did mention that he had taken part in year 1 and year 2 year 1 he took part in architecture and year 2 he smartly took part in interior design so uh, uh, st- starting to say that firstly interior design has fewer participants because of the sheer uh, uh, you know lack of architecture is a little more organized in terms of uh, academia uh, interior design but coming back to what you could do on the interior design front uh, you know very often uh, when you use themes like uh, sustainability etc it's very difficult to kind of reconcile them with interior design and uh, uh, usually what appeals in an interior design segment is probably something that is luxurious so that's something that looks uh, opulent and things like that so uh, when you're looking at forward and challenging design boundaries you could even start with an object that you're designing in an interior design space that kind of makes uh, makes the um, makes the use of that space uh, like for instance uh, although nitin used uh, this uh, history or heritage but he actually used technology and uh, you know uh, uh, to make make it come alive so you could even there, there was somebody for instance from iran last year in the interior design segment if i remember right yeah. who designed these planter boxes which might seem very trivial as uh, as a as an option but uh, uh, and it, uh, may not be the most radical and most special design but if it was designed in a manner that uh uh makes it replicable repetitive uh, usable again and uh, the the design of that unit is so fantastic that it works uh, uh perfectly it could be something that fits into forward challenging design boundaries exactly i agree to that carry on please yeah so yeah so there are few of the questions uh sorry jain lagana so eligibility yeah uh, it's open to all 2018 2019 and 2020 graduates so like students who are graduated this year and who are yet to graduate and two members per team okay so there's one question can an interior design and architecture student participate as a team so yeah yes uh, pairings uh, is allowed i guess and even uh, inter college and inter year is also allowed so you have a flexibility to choose a partner and which suits you best uh, to crack such a competition uh, uh, maximum yeah. of two members even individuals like prithvi risha band within all went solo so you can go solo as well all have okay yeah anything more to add with there on this to this if you want to no yeah that's about it just that each individual needs to match the eligibility criteria as long as both the individual are match, matching the eligibility criteria of 2018 19 and 20 graduation uh, hmm. they are eligible to participate in any um, like they can mix up their teams as as much as they like vidya i just had a question regarding this can a civil engineer student and an architecture student can combine together and uh, be part of a team uh, this was this is actually for architecture and interior design but i don't see why not uh, i think uh, uh, b and upon would be happy actually it's a, it's a very good idea 
yes yes in terms of in terms of solutions you could really get uh, but again it's dictated by asia so some of these rules yeah, may have back there that's true, that's, that's true. but uh, if there is a specific request and there is a specific candidate uh, or a team that's looking to do that we we could look at it i've got a clearance as of yesterday for inter college uh, okay. that was kind of uh, suspect at one time yesterday i've got a thing that it can be inter college they do things in a very standard manner that's easy for them you can go on to the next question okay. um let's yeah. just do since it's kind of uh, topic wise if there is anything in terms of eligibility that somebody needs to ask questions on we can close that and move to the next i've yeah. only taken questions which are uh, already there in the forms but if anybody wants to add and ask any other question no okay so okay go ahead in case somebody needs to ask please do uh, unmute yourself and uh, interrupt us and ask us question so the next is about the theme how many years into the future are we designing for can we design can we use technology that isn't available today can it be an entirely theoretical de design yeah so what i think is like yeah it's up to you uh, you can choose the timeline what you are designing you can choose the technology like you can choose a new technology which doesn't exist and you can do anything like you have freedom to do anything you want so just brainstorm with some good ideas crazy ideas which are different and then just put them into your sheets so that yeah. will do and yeah. also in terms of the theme it's only it only says forward it doesn't in uh, it doesn't indicate that it needs to be futuristic future, that yeah. is an inter interpretation that you could have but yeah. that is not the only direction that you can take and um, in terms of uh, you know looking at theoretical uh, designs and technology that isn't available today as long as you're able to kind of convince the jury that what you're thinking is implementable at some point of time and you can take the jury along with you on that journey uh, i think uh, anything is doable but you need to be convinced i just want i just want to add one more thing uh, kita ma'am i don't remember uh, uh, we had a jury i mean we had a entry in malaysia regarding anti gravity uh, Ali, a girl from Mali, uh, Thailand or something did anti gravity house. He, you know, they, I mean, good to think beyond the boundaries and uh, you know, uh, use technology which uh, isn't available. But I still feel that uh, let your project be sort of grounded to the reality a bit. So, so for the for even for the jury, it, I mean, it, it's it's to understand what you're talking about because you get a very even for the presentation, you get only ten minutes to present your whole thing. So we don't want. I mean, you don't have to lose five minutes for, to explain your whole technology part of it. So I feel if if it is slightly grounded, uh, it would help better. Nitin uh, and I, I uh, Nitin, Rishya, and Prithvi, you can just spend one minute on. Which entry won finally in, in your respective years? Maybe that. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. So so during my time, it was a uh, uh, okay. It was a Japanese guy uh, who also have designed a school. Okay. But uh, the thing is, uh, it had a very uh, he had a very humorous approach to the design. It was very uh, like personal interpretation. and believe me he had no drawings he had no views no sections nothing just the scribbles of paper which he just scanned and put into the ppt where and where he tried to explain the entire idea of how the school should be by putting himself into that school uh, and relating his timeline from childhood to the adulthood uh, and relating to the space which he was trying to achieve so that was very uh, like interesting and different way of approach and he finished the entire work or like the entire his design in like just seven slides which was like very fascinating because if you can explain your design in just seven slides it's as simple as like anyone can understand so that was the catching point of that uh, work 
during 2016 finals yeah yeah how many slides did you have prithvi <laughs> <laughs> uh, for aid I, uh, nationals I had 260 which i cut down to one <laughs> and then that, for the that, finals that, i these slides pre the day before the finals yeah. and then he had this presentation workshop where he was presenting and he realized he had completed what 10 slides or 12 slides or 14 slides in the 10 minutes that he was allotted he spent that whole night cutting down his presentation from 260 to how many slides sir prithvi like 110 something <laughs> that were also two men yeah, <laughs> two men complete fast forward of those 110 slides <laughs> <laughs> yeah even i still remember in malaysia geeta ma'am and sharuk uh, sir you know beating us down no this is very this is not relevant let's remove that let's remove this we had like even before like one hour before the presentation we were submitting geeta was like no no nitin remove that rishab remove this and it was really amazing right johnny was really amazing yeah <laughs> yes it was it was really special <laughs> Yeah, go on. Yeah, Nitin, yeah, uh, you are supposed to talk about the winner of your. Oh, yeah. Yeah. so Rishabh can talk about uh, architecture. I can talk about the interior uh, design winner. So, uh, interior design winner uh, was from Malaysia. She, um, her, her concept was something similar to beehiving and other things as well. So she created a, a sort of a boutique uh, a store for. bees and it's like a bee genre generation by by bee means buzzing bees they say yeah bees. buzzing bees yeah it's bees the design was on what yeah. is it called honey not honey honey bee plan b or something yeah, like that yeah plan, plan. yeah so the main interesting uh, part in her presentation was uh, again she started uh, thinking in terms of how a bee will look into these spaces so it's not she put herself in the in the bee point of view and the honey bee point of view and then she started designing in terms of color because honey bee will perceive it perceive the real world in a different color so it's she see she her uh, whole presentation was revolving around uh, how uh, honey bee will perceive these interior spaces and that's something really interesting so she was extremely confident and uh... it was a solid presentation in that sense she came through as if she knew she's going to floor everybody yeah. uh maybe maybe a, a line on what your presentation what your design actually was because someone has put down in the comments they asked a question on virtual reality mixed reality oh okay so um my design was completely based on uh, a, a retrofitting uh, uh input i mean retrofitting input to a heritage building so um i choose a site which is very nearby uh, to my hometown which i i knew most of most about the site actually that's a very advanced big point advantage for me um so what i did was uh, i i was looking at a tool where uh, to tweak in this the idea of you know dilapidating and deteriorating heritage in india so because that we have a large number of heritage structures in india and it's most of us are, most of the heritage structures are deteriorating right now because of a lot of uh, reasons so uh, my whole intervention was how to make it usable how to you know i mean we don't like to see a nasi board which is rusted and we don't usually connect ourselves to the heritage building right so uh, my my whole point was how to rejuvenate this experience of a heritage building in terms of an interior design point of view so um say sort of you are grounded to an actual reality and you superimpose another uh, alternative reality that's called over it and you create an uh, mixed reality experience so the 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 it's called mixed reality the, the, the whole technology is also called as mixed reality where you see super it's a layer superimposed on the retro uh, on the heritage building uh, where you show 
uh, how it came in mean, different user perspective and a lot of other things and uh, geeta ma'am also have added a lot to that uh, in the to the final first presentation she came up with a point saying it's an alternative reality when uh, the you know user can you know switch their environment in in a in a in a surrounding so it's it's all how you want to perceive the space than uh, the concrete structure of the uh, of the ground reality actually so again again to tell you what nitin when he came for his final presentation in india he didn't come for the pre the day before he wasn't well and uh, maybe he wanted to keep his design secret for a little bit <laughs> <laughs> so and up until the day of the final presentation we suddenly saw him come there his sheets were again he went over time he hadn't really conveyed his idea at the final jury but the jury sat up with his idea and that did it for him you know there was i, I remember ravi sarangan going up to the stage taking those google glasses and uh, going gaga over it so actually he hadn't i'm not i'm not giving you this as an advice that you should do but he didn't really complete his presentation on time his sheets were not really ready there Uh, to give the complete idea, he had a few issues, personal issues, which led it there. But I think the power of that idea was enough to uh, uh, kind of uh, make up for uh, you know the other things that didn't happen. But that doesn't mean you go that way. I'm just giving you, you know, uh, kind of throwing a memory at. Uh, that. <laughs> Yeah, Rishabh. So, uh, so the winner uh, of architecture in 2017 was again Malaysia, and uh, the project was uh, so they have a museum of independence, which is not being highlighted, and people are not visiting that. So his proposal was how people can experience that, and how can it bring into forefront so that people can see what they have struggled for their independence. So I think future is not just. 10 years 20 years back it's today so if you are moving forward so you should not see future as a timeline you can also think future to be past or you can also think future could be today so it's all about that so uh, also the point is um, you don't have to think of fantastic ideas uh, like nitin did it can be something as simple as a uh, you know museum of independence or a war memorial which Uh, many of you choose to do as part of your thesis but how you put that across how you uh, conceive of that and how you uh, sell that idea to whoever is uh, watching your presentation is going to be crucial yeah. yep so yeah there's uh, some questions okay no this is just an information about the submission which uh, i'm sure like you'll get these details on the website still if you have doubts you can just put on the questions for this and i will probably ask vidya to come up here there are some doubts there was a mismatch between the website and here okay. so vidya uh, yeah so the following slides kind of have the questions that you guys have asked so basically it's um four a2 sheets and uh, this is nee nee go back to that uh, prithvi the original one the first yeah, one yeah yeah, yeah. the yeah. content yeah yeah so it's basically four e2 sheets and the first stage of submission is only online there is no hard copy no cd nothing of the sort that is required it's an online submission that needs to be made by the end of day 15th of october to uh, via email to ethosindia.helpdesk@gmail.com So you mean twelve midnight or fifteenth October? Yes, till the end of day. Yeah, yeah starting sixteenth October. And when we yes. say four A twos in a PDF, it really doesn't matter what the size is. Really. Correct, correct. And um, four A twos A twos is only the maximum. And uh, in terms of what the drawings need to be and what the content of the sheet needs to be. there is no set format at one point in time on the website there was a format in terms of what sheet one needs to be and what sheet two needs to be you do not need to follow that as long as you're able to convey your design and idea uh, to the uh, as best as you can um, you can put in any drawings any views any perspectives in any order and uh, uh, 
as long as you think you've conveyed your design properly to the jury and like Nitin and Rishabh and Prithi concurred that the jury only gets that much time to look at your sheets to so make the most of it. And um, there is, uh, please, if you're looking at a site that uh, is a live site or if it makes sense for it to be there, please make sure that the north side is there. Most of you, I don't know for what reason, kind of look out and uh, the jury really uh, get very bothered by that. Although uh, Rishabh, the Prithvi did talk about the Japanese person's design winning without uh, real drawings. I think uh, those are probably mavericks who managed to do that, but... Um, and those are exceptions. Uh, yeah, they are exceptions more than the rule. And uh, jury do expect some amount of, like they'll end up saying plan that. At the end of it, they'll see all these things and say, where is the... So unless it's a design, unless it's an idea like Vidin's or something where it's, you know, the plan is essential, but it still is not crucial to explaining the idea, uh, you can get away with it. But otherwise, if it is crucial, if it is like the uh, uh, Museum of Independence and things like that, please make sure that you have your uh, drawing yeah, that's about it. And then there's the second part, which is the design statement, which is a thousand words uh, word doc that you can send as a separate attachment. And like I said, it's only and only uh, uh, an online submission for stage one. And uh, only after you get shortlisted is there a presentation uh, for which we get, give you a brief uh, eventually. So on Adish's recent question on whether a design statement is essential, let me tell you, a thousand word document is something that people don't necessarily, I mean, will not read unless you're your four sheets have really caught their eye and if there is a tie between yeah. uh, I'm being very honest so this thousand word document although is part of the submission criteria um, see if you can make even that as graphic as you can because a thousand word document is not easy for when we have a large number of submissions for the jury to read okay. at the first stage for it to be chosen to go to the second stage yeah but however it kind of adds uh, to what you, like when you start writing and maybe you will discover more things about the design and yeah. it gives you a perspective to your design. Makes you what, you could, what you could do on that is maybe highlight those words, key words and key uh, 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 terms that you, you know, or certain things that you have done, you can make them bold or a different color. So at least those are kind of skimmed over by the jury and if they don't choose not, if they choose not to read all thousand words. Yeah, I think you can go ahead. Yeah. Also, uh, like that Nippon paint color palette is to be like considered. Right? Yeah, so yeah. Th that is, um, there is a website where there is Nippon paint color palette. However, it is not uh, mandatory. You can just use it to enhance the quality of your spaces and uh, more so for the interior projects maybe. And um, there is a question regarding that, I think, which I've answered. This is, an ongoing, this is an ongoing tussle I'm having with uh, uh, Nippon about, uh, you know, making this mandatory. So at least for the first stage, please go ahead and don't worry about it. Uh, because the jury also doesn't really uh, worry about it in the first stage. Second stage, international jury, if, you know, it becomes a qualifying factor, whenever you're being mentored to work on it better, we will, we will see how we can... Uh, clean up your submissions to incorporate that. So for the first stage, don't necessarily focus and uh, uh, you know, cause issues uh, for yourself because of that. And But there is a color choice award. So from that perspective, maybe it would make sense to look at, if you're using color, then you could look at the palette and uh, hmm. take the colors from there if you yeah, submissions should not have the participant's uh, name and any other details and it could be subject to a disqualification in case it does. And yeah, like I said, mail in your submissions to ethosindia.helpdesk.gmail.com and the mail subject needs to be this, IDA 2018, your name, your college name and submission category, whether it's architecture or interior design. Yeah, so, 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 so is it like that? Architecture or interior design? Someone was asking that question. So you, are you submitting in architecture or interior design yeah. submission? Adishwar. Adishwar, you had a question? You're on mute. Unmute yourself. Yeah. So my question was that if, uh, if we are submitting without any of the uh, profile or education institute details, uh, what are we supposed to 
is there uh, what's supposed to be on the sheet for the identification okay so you have registered yourself uh, with a particular email id and phone number right so on your mail body you can mention these details if you like if you if you're unsure of whether we'll identify but we identify with the basis of the email id you've registered with and we uh, link it to your registration however on your mail body you can mention details but not on your sheets to maintain anonymity and we don't want the judges to know which college and which uh, what your name is just to explain this anonymity bit, bit for you uh, if you are given an id number and you put that on your sheet to me it's as good as putting your name because the whole point of anonymity is you not knowing what that id number is and you not being able to share it with someone on the jury mm -hmm. that is the whole point of it so we will assign that id number and only there will be only team ethos who will know what the id numbers for the law adishwar's id number is only team ethos will know at the end of it after the adjudication is over jury will come and say ida 31 is one and whoever ida 31 is we will identify and come back and tell that person this is ida Right. Okay. So that's why on the mail subject, putting your name, uh, college name, and submission category would be uh, would be our identification of your age. Or even naming your file with this is a better thing. To yeah. Do. Yeah. You can name your file as this as well. In your file with your name, your college name, and your submission category, we will rename it and. Do it. Go ahead to see. So submission is based on any category on top design. So yeah. Ah, so there are two categories. There's architecture and interior design. You can choose to submit in one or both categories. Like uh, you can make your submissions. Basically, there is a rule this time that one, per registration there's one submission. So you can register as many times with different email IDs and submit in as many categories as, uh, in both the categories if you like. And in terms of our architectural plans sections details restricted to first sheet only like i said the formatting of the sheets is absolutely left to you you can choose to um, format your sheets as you like and present it in a certain order and format that you think is best to explain your design um you can present your sheets as you like and the content and every sheet can be decided by you there's no need to follow a certain format as long as you stick to the rule of maximum number of sheets as 4a2s in pdf format Yeah. We're sorry you... about the confusion created uh, on the website. There were some uh, other uh, details given because at that point, I think they were considering physical submission. I mean, that's hard copy submission of entries. Um, so please ignore that. And this is the final word on what you need to do as far as the submissions. Okay, even the orientation can be portrait or landscape. Yes. That is also fine, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, just remember that when you're finally doing a PPT. uh if it's portrait it does end up carrying lesser information in terms of uh, visibility because the two sides kind of get uh, uh, hidden so finally you may need to do landscape if you're if you're chosen in the top 12 yeah so when you're you, making your presentation yeah which would mean you may need to rework on your sheets to make them into landscape so that's just a tip but if you think portrait suits you at this stage please go ahead with portrait yeah even when like a jury this is the first stage is going to be an online jury and they're going to look at it at on their computer screen so it's of course preferred that it's landscape because the computer screen is landscape but there is no restriction as such if you think portrait is is uh, give does more justice to your design uh, presentation you can go ahead at this stage yeah i would like to add this uh, one thing to this if you are making four different pdfs and sending of four different sheets just make sure that when you name them name them properly like 1 2 3 4 so that when people open it they are in sequence or else the best way to do it is combine. to combine the entire pdf in a proper order okay Absolutely. yeah 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 go ahead what are nippon chips yeah. and how to use them yeah. so nippon color chips are available you may refer to the chat for enhancing your design however this is in mandatory at least in stage 1 stage 1 yeah. don't worry about it use them if you can uh, and wherever you're using color you could but that's that's it uh for the first round can we just submit concept and the plan or should it have views and elevations too so the first round uh, i think it is important that you uh, convey all that is there to your design it's not like it's stage 1 and somebody is mentoring you into stage 2 this is just a round where an online jury is looking at your design and they need to know everything that they, there is to know and um, uh, in stage 1 
you need to be able to convey through your sheets whatever you need to say about your design uh, because most submissions that come in are complete in in in, in a sense so uh, you will lose out on making it to the shortlist if you have just developed the concept and and, and not gone further so uh, for stage 1 you need to submit everything any drawings any the concept as well any drawings any um, 3ds and perspectives anything that you need to submit uh, to explain your design better needs to be put in the sheets in stage 1 itself how do you how do you flow the jury basically if you had to take your design and uh, present it to a, a jury member and hope that you will and you are not presenting especially exactly especially because you are not going to be presenting and you are not going to be what is the information that needs to be there on those four sheets so that the jury picks you Uh, Nitin, Prithvi, or Rishab, do you have your first stage submission by any? Ah, there, Prithvi. Shiman has already asked you. Can you show us your sheets for us? Show us your. Do you have it on your uh, uh, iPad by any chance? The first submission. I don't want to. Yeah. Uh, I need to check. Uh, the first four sheets. Let me check if I have it, and I'll share the screen. Yeah, that will be great. <laughs> ढूंढना पड़ेगा मुझे बिकॉज इट बी एज पर कोड नॉट नितिन्स बिकॉज विद नितिन्स फर्स्ट ईयर यू कैन शो दिस ईयर ही इज वर्किंग ऑन इट फॉर द स्कॉलरशिप सो मे बी बेस्ट टू कीप इट क्वाइटली ओके नाउ आई हैव टू लुक फॉर लाइक मी आई हैव इट एज पर कोड लेट्स कैरी ऑन एंड आई कैरी ऑन विद इट अंटिल वी सर्च पृथ्वी या Carry on to the next question, Nidhi. Yeah. We'll try and find. What is the mode of submission? Whom to submit? Yeah. So these details, I guess, Vidya has told already, and uh, these are the details which you have to follow for submitting. So it's online submission. Can I submit a handmade three D model? Okay. So for this thing, you can uh, for the first stage, uh, I guess, you can put a uh, snaps, uh, the best possible snaps, and edit it. add them in photoshop and put it in your sheets and for the final jury you are allowed to take the model and like show it and present it in front of jury that's also allowed yeah am i right with there like it's allowed right yes yes the yes. Yeah. you can yeah. final you can bring them up people who brought yeah i remember <laughs> during my uh, my aida a girl uh, suhasini from uh, we college she got a model and she explained entire her idea on that model so it's another way of conveying conveying your idea to the jury yeah yeah i found your sheet i think prithvi and i think they were in portrait format in stage 1 <laughs> no I, i i was in that zone like i wanted to put everything, everything possible yeah, let me just <laughs> you guys are lucky in the sense that you have this little eye opener before so at least you know what not to do maybe yeah in a sense Vidya, you want to share your screen? Yeah, one second. I'll just do that. Okay, uh, it's a little difficult to read because it's in the portrait <laughs> format. Ah, uh, Prithvi, you will have to stop But... sharing first for Vidya. Okay. Okay. Just a minute. Just a minute. Hey. On the top of your screen, you yeah, yeah. have that option. I did that. Yeah. Done. Ah, exactly. Yeah. Can you see? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to think what was the clincher here because it was pretty unanimous to bring you up. I think the second second page would have been. No, yeah, I guess the the girl in the left oh, on the first sheet. Let's keep the wait. I think this would have been the yeah. Uh, real yeah, clincher. really nice sketches and. Full screen. He's asking you to put it on full screen. Yeah. The first screen. This is as full as it gets. <laughs> full screen is the setting that you have to do on your computer on your device. Ah, Alt enter. Uh, try Alt enter. Alt enter. No, no. एक F F uh, function होता है ना एक second. Uh, you have the stretch uh, at the bottom right corner. Is that? Oh yeah. Thanks. There was a third sheet. Shit, it's too much data. 
believe me don't refer these sheets for your composition if you ask me to compose sheets now like i won't i like eliminate 60% of this like it's not required <laughs> let me just there was we had a photographs thing is that yeah so we put in no but all this wasn't shown with the you we what yeah. we showed to the jury was only this yeah and he had a document let me just open it so prithvi used everything that was there possible <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, no. At that point of time, it was showed, ma'am, because it was a part of the uh, submission format. But now we want all the, the four sheets to have all of it. So the second sheet, for sure, was uh, I think what uh, did it for. Yeah. So this was is the thousand-word document that we were talking about. So you see here, he's colored, he's done, made some things in bold. Go down. yeah another thing i like to say is like while you are writing a document no like uh, you should be precise you should not use n number of font sizes or different types of font just keep it as simple as possible okay so that will really help and it should be very clear while reading even here is graphics so you see that these are things that would yeah how is related it to the theme Wow, this is a long document. Was it thousand? It's two thousand. Three thousand. Sorry. Yeah. Oh no, wait. There's more. Oh my God. Nineteen pages. Okay, I'm not scrolling through the whole thing. Yeah, the thing is, like uh, that time they had this uh, criteria of spacing it like one point five minimum or something. So that why that's why it became yes. so long. So it may not have been thousand words at that time for all. Yeah. 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 Okay, so he has the environment would have been different three years ago. Yeah, you can shut this with your yeah. <laughs> But the sheets for sure, uh, since it was four sheets, I think. Uh, yeah, these were the sheets. Money. So if you ask me, like, what should go in the this thing? The sheets is like the. Uh, can you take it to four sheet with the four next one? Yeah, this is what uh, like the top part of the fourth sheet and the bottom right corner of the fourth sheet is what uh, jury is interested to see. Okay, so just like eliminate all the research data you have done and just put in graphics and the second sheet, which is the crux, which explains the entire thing. Yeah, so this only these uh, this many things are more than enough for you to explain. And if you go to the first sheet. yeah for sheet yeah only that picture on the left hand side with that girl is enough for you to explain to the jury that you are working for some underprivileged children okay there's no need of this right hand side data at all <laughs> for sure yeah, coming back exactly what prithvi is saying when you do yeah. a site analysis when you're explaining how how poverty is and the underprivileged child they know it yeah people know that yeah, yeah you don't need to get into details if you're if they, you know many people start with my site is in maharashtra in this location and it has the temperature is so much here and this is the rain yeah try avoid have, uh, like avoid having those kind of graphics you'll show one city then then maharashtra and then <laughs> india like everyone does that yeah and so, and yeah. you're saving on space crucial important vital space that you could use for other stuff yeah anyway prithvi go back any more questions yeah sorry I'll start I'll my. I'll have to screen. wait. I'll have to stop sharing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Where were we? Some. Next. Next. Yeah, this is done. Okay, important dates. Yeah, fifth October is the last date for registration, and last date for submission is fifteenth of October till midnight, like eleven fifty nine, fifty nine is the last. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, there weren't any queries regarding this. Yeah, evaluation. Oh, just a minute. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. The evaluation process, Balam Murli uh, had asked. So there are three stages of evaluation. Stage one is the online jury. So the submissions that you send us via email, twelve top um, uh, designs as per the jury are selected in each architecture and interior design category. Which are, which move on to the stage two, wherein we between stage one and stage two we intimate these uh, twenty four teams, twelve architecture, twelve ID, uh, and ask them to kind of work on their presentation a little bit more because now it's moving from an uh, online submission which is sheets to an actual presentation which which is uh, more time based than sheet based. Um, at, at during stage two, there is a jury that kind of looks at it, an India jury, before which we typically have, in the last couple of years, we've had uh, on day one, a workshop on presentation and how you could, uh, you know, uh, convey your designs, uh, communicate your designs the best possible and most efficient way. That's day one. And day two is where you're actually presenting your designs to the India jury, uh, for which the dates will be intimated shortly. And then there is stage three, the winners of the India jury, one winner of interior and one winner of architecture, then represents India in the international final, which is at Singapore this year. Um, uh, and, yeah, and they present their designs. Sorry, stage one has a one uh, sub-stage where depending on the number of entries, we may bring down the number of entries to 44 first and then bring them down to 12. Yeah. So then India is not yeah and it, it, it's like a maximum 12 teams right if there are like, yeah, like less number of teams also is like possible right yes so, so yeah. what happened in the interior design category yeah. first year we had only five uh, people shortlisted and i think the second year we had nine if i'm not mistaken nine or ten uh, shortlisted mm -hmm. because jury felt that there weren't 12 entries that could be brought to the <coughs> final stage yeah yeah next slide is there anything else? Yeah, this is the evaluation evaluation criteria. So. Uh, this is the criteria. Word of caution. Yeah. Percentages, these marks, I would recommend you don't really uh, focus too much on that. Design concept, color concept, design innovation, critical and forward thinking, green and sustainable design concept. These are the five things that yeah. we looked at. There is 30%, 15%, 25% is something that evolves by you know on on the spot by the jury as well so that's something that we may not have too much control over aditya you've asked what will be the dates for the next stages that will be intimated shortly once once october 15th is uh, submitted then you guys are done with your first task then it's our job to work on it get your if i get them evaluated and then inform those 12 people that the you, you guys are the ones who are making it to the next stage. Okay, and likely the finals, the top 12, um, the, the finals are likely to be in January 2019. So we'll make sure that it doesn't, uh, that all 12 are able to participate. For sure, we'll make, keep, keep those things in mind. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, was actually addressed specifically to Prithvi. What does the jury expect from us in terms of design? What should a winning design fulfill oh okay <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so, i think you guys have talked uh, talk uh, yeah, yeah. that's what like uh, what i think is see uh, all the sh uh, shortlisted uh, 12 entries are really great okay it's just that uh unis ka farak between two entries or few entries which make the top uh, three entries qualify so that little bit addition additional layer of some personal things or your skills will really make a difference. And also the presentation skills. Like even uh, if you have great work and if you fail to present that way uh, well or uh, convey that idea, then some uh, then the other one will get an, that opportunity. So it's uh, purely based on how you portray your idea to the jury members in those 10 minutes. So it's based on that. Yeah. You're absolutely right. I just, uh, I always say this, I think you would have realized that in college also. Another day, another jury, probably another result. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't mean that, uh, it's just that that jury was looking for something and it, it clicked, something clicked and then, uh, you know, when they saw your design and you made it. Yeah. So, yeah, so it could be, it could be that beyond those 12, there are another 10 that could have been in those 12, but didn't make it because they had to choose 12. 
Varun, I see Varun uh, is on the uh, yeah. call as well. Is this yeah. uh, Varun from Nepal? Yeah, 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 it is. <laughs> so, if there's anything you would like to add, uh, uh, is there, are there any more questions, uh, uh, Prithvi? Are we done? No, no, no I'm this, just checking. A little bit more. No, okay. Your questions may have. These are just info. Yeah. I think we're yeah. done with the questions that were sent. Yeah, this this thing is the most important. Like six week AYDA Harvard Design Discovery summer program. So just like I, I wish yeah. I had this. Yeah, I too wish. I, I would have worked more. Yeah, the chance between it and maybe you could actually uh, keep in touch with some of these guys and see how they can make it to those top twelve, and then of course we'll try. And the best to yeah <laughs> so yeah surely it would be great to have it uh, come to India so yeah yeah, yeah so that's all I guess yeah, yeah. So if any additional question yeah is he is he's put himself on mute or is he there he, he just unmuted himself I think Varun Varun can you uh, start a video? Uh, even if she doesn't want to start a video, you can No, but no. then I, I can make out if he's talking or not. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's here, he's here, he's here. Yeah, are you, can you say something? Yeah, you're on, you're on mute. I think uh, on the settings uh, where the microphone is, uh, Sonam, do you want to do this? Stop sharing. stop sharing. Me, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Varun, uh, where that microphone is now on the left bottom corner, uh, there is a drop up menu where you say same as system or something like that. You have to. There's an arrow up, and you have to choose device audio. Nope, can't hear you. Wait, let me call. You want to type in something if you have anything? Shweta is also here. Shweta. Shweta is also here now. Next to the, next to the uh, microphone uh, icon, there's an arrow pointing upwards. Click on that and choose... Uh, Right, Vidya, you want to uh, conclude then? I think yeah, it's been a long session in any case. Yes. I'm so glad that you guys, uh, Rishabh, Nitin and uh, Prithvi took out the time for this today. And uh, I call them Ida heroes. <laughs> and uh, I'm so glad you guys took out time today. And it was really nice for you guys to share your experiences. And uh, yeah, I hope all all of you have understood there's really no uh, one direction that you can go. Uh, the takeaway really is that there's no one direction in which you can go as long as you're able to convince yourself and the jury uh, effectively that this is uh, what you feel for. And honestly, I've seen in the in the last two years, the one that really won and, and stood out was the one who had a passion for what they were presenting and they really felt for it. So yeah, I think that is... Uh, uh, primary when you're when you're presenting especially especially on a uh, uh, in a competition like either where there are so many stages there's so much filtering that is happening the one that really uh, stands the test of all of these filters is the one that kind of really believes in what they're doing and knows their project inside out and is and is really passionate about it and uh, which is why i think all three of them nitin richard and Prithvi, stood out and and, and made it to the asia final um uh, you guys want to ask any other questions apart from what we've already addressed. This video is going to be available uh, uh, as well on the cloud. And any other questions that you would like to address uh, and ask us can be sent to me and uh, on ethosindia.helpdesk.gmail.com. Yeah, and they can post to... it on the Facebook page. Yes, you... and you can post it on the Facebook page, which is going to be active for another week. Um, um, yeah, that's about it. If any, any of you want to ask anything right away, please go ahead. Can we have an introduction, a small introduction of everyone who is there? Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. new to that. Can we start with um, Adishwar? Yeah. 
Uh, I am Adhishwar Bardhan. I'm I'm from Kolkata. I'm presently studying uh, in Amity University, Bachelor of Architecture. And uh, that's it. Okay. So you're participating solo for Ida? Yes. I think he was one of the first registrants because that was one of the first colleges I visited. So <laughs> great. Rohan, Rohan Bajpai. Uh, good morning, everyone. I am Rohan Bajpi. I am from Vidkarni College of Architecture and Technology uh, from Jawalpur. It's um, an MP. I went to the college when the Zone NASA happened, uh, I think, about six years ago. And Professor Binzani was the uh, head. If you can hear me. <laughs> Yeah, Aditya. Hello. Uh, yeah, I am there, but you are not audible. I said that I visited your college about six years ago when Zone NASA happened at Hitkarni, Jabalpur. Yeah, yeah. Recently, we organized uh, the second time we organized the Zonal NASA. Oh, I see. Nice. Okay. That time, Professor Binzani was the head. Yeah, he was HOD. <laughs> right. Thank you. Aditya. Hello, everyone. I am from Kolhapur. I'm currently studying fourth year architecture, DYP College of Architecture, Kolhapur. Have all of you registered? Because I find uh, maybe some of you haven't actually registered, but are part of the webinar as well. Yes. Imanshu and friend. Yeah, Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Imanshu and he's my group member, Ankush. And we are from Buddha College of Architecture. It's in Karnal. We both are in fourth year. Okay. Yeah, Mezabin. Can you unmute yourself, Mezabin, and tell us about yourself? Yeah. Yeah, tell us. Oh, we can't hear. Can't hear you, Mezabin. Would you like to type and just let us know which college you're from? While Mezabin is typing, the next one is Barun. Barun and Shweta are from uh, Nippon Paints, the promoters of Asia Young Designer Award. Uh, thank you guys, Barun, Shweta and Nippon for creating this platform and I hope it really grows. Mansi, would you tell us about yourself? Mezabin will uh, come back to. Hi, I'm Mansi. I'm from Nirmala Niketan Polytechnic. It's in Mumbai. I am participating in a team. My teammate has also joined Anisha. And we are participating as an interior designing project. So, uh, Mansi, Nimla Niketan, this would be the third year. Uh, you, I think the first two years also, Nimla Niketan has been on stage. Uh, we found, we got to know that uh, 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 you don't have juries in college in the sense you don't really present, uh, at least the first two years, we uh, got to know that you don't have presenting to your college mates and teammates. Uh, I don't know if that has changed now, so that you actually went... I'm sorry, you are not uh, audible. Can you please repeat the last line? I said that in Nirmala Niketan, I understand that there is no practice of having live juries and presentations by students. And some of these students uh, who made it to stage, told us that that was the first time they were on stage making presentations. I hope that's changed now and uh, uh, maybe college has introduced a system of juries. If not, maybe you could uh, go back it's and speak to the one jury. An external comes in and we do have a one-on-one -on -one jury where we present our project and we are asked questions. Lovely. We ask them. So yes, that is there now. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So I think, I hope this has given you a eye opener on what you can do from as, as a project. So Mezabin is typed in. She's from Alana College of Architecture, Pune. And she's graduate. a recent okay. graduate in the fifth year. I'd request all of you to spread the word amongst your communities as well. Put, put up information about IDA 
Now, uh, there's been since you graduated, maybe there is a fifth year uh, uh, recently graduated WhatsApp group. So you could pick up the information there so there are more people who know about it because uh, I often feel that all your thesis projects would kind of fit into uh, uh, the submission requirements and criteria because they are all um, uh, ideas that have been thought up by you with great uh, passion and at the end of your fifth year you are kind of showing all that you have learnt in college uh, as, as your crowning glory of uh, your five years in college. So I think uh, that's something that thesis projects would really uh, be something that you could do. That's one request to all of you. Please spread the word amongst the uh, those who have graduated as well to make sure that they uh, submit an entry. Thanks. Admin, we don't know your name. <laughs> <laughs> you muted yourself again. Yeah. 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 Uh, so I'm Ramita. I'm from uh, Bangalore, so I'm studying in fourth year. <clears throat> so I'm, um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. So I'm from BMS College of Architecture. Yeah, sorry, sorry. The, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Great. So do spread the word at BMS as well for us. Uh, yeah, Sharma. Sharma. Anisha is uh, Mansi's teammate, but we'd like to hear from you. Can't hear you, Anisha. Okay. So maybe you should also type, type in. in. Yeah. Shweta is the other person from Nippon and Prithvi. So it's only Anisha. If you type in, then we do with the introductions. So we have we have Mumbai, we have Kolkata, we have Pune, we have Kolhapur, we have Bangalore, we have Karnal. That's quite a nice spread of people from across India. And while Vidya did uh, focus in her concluding remarks on winning this uh, competition, is Anisha typing to introduce herself? Basically, Anisha is also from the Islamic uh, so I think uh, I'd like you while, yes, focus on your entry, focus on your submission, but focus on what I said about the opportunity that you have. One is, of course, to bring out the best in you, but also to build this, uh, build these relationships and this network and get the best out of that. It could help you. Some of you are in your fourth year. You have another year at least to go, year and a half to go. And uh, I think I think these opportunities are great to be able to build towards a good thesis, maybe a good uh, internship, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure uh, where it could lead. So that that would be my advice. And yeah, looking forward to all of you submitting fantastic entries. Uh, uh, Mansi, would you like to introduce Anisha since she's not able to get her mic? Uh, uh, so we are, the third year, we are in the same class. No. We are working on the project at the team. Yeah, that's it, I think. So this is your final year. Third year is your final year or your pre-final year? No, uh, final year. Final year. So, yeah, great, great. So, look forward to seeing someone from Nirvana Niketan again on the final 12. And God bless all of you. Anything else that you would like to say? Yes. I have a question. If the IDA heroes were to participate, how would you proceed with the design brief of this year? <laughs> <laughs> Ida Heroes, Prithvi, Rishabh, and Mithil. Oh, I have a question. Ida Heroes. Uh, <laughs> well, that's like letting the cat out of the bag, right? Uh, like, I have to think about it. Like, give me an hour's time, then I can get back to this. <laughs> we have a one on one with these guys, but at the same time, I think how they participate is irrelevant. How you would yeah. conceive of the idea is more important. So maybe if you have a if you have an idea, you could probably set up a separate uh, discussion with one of these people and ask them. I don't know if they'll be able to give time. They're extremely busy with being young architects out in. Uh, no, post it on post it on Facebook <laughs> and maybe. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not pulling your leg. I'm saying seriously, you would be expected to give more than hundred percent at your offices, and you are going to take an exam next month. So I'm sure you have enough. <laughs> 
if any of you would like but i still don't think that's the way to go uh, because prithvi nitin and uh, uh, rishab may have a particular way of looking at it but that may not be the way that the jury will look at it yeah, yeah. yeah. so okay. it, it's something that each one has to carve for yourself as your parts but you're most welcome to touch base with them and ask their opinions for sure you i think adishwar has uh, you have good faculty in college so yeah so they should be able to guide you as well i'm sure all of you have good faculty in college okay. so signing off yeah thank you all thank yeah. you thank, thank you. you so much Bye-bye. thank you ma'am thank you thanks, yeah. thanks yeah. between the teacher and the shop yeah thank you ma'am thank you can end this now thank you ma'am you can also end meeting for uh,